Sunday the 24th of February. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina. This is Rob. Hey. It's a really good life and I am in the car today. I'm not taking my Thurnbull F5 wheelchair. I'm not even going to be have, having to walk more than a short distance. So don't need it. I've got my walker in the back. Um, I've still got primary progressive MS just in case you really wanted to know that. There's been no cures since the last time we spoke. But I'm heading to a local retro sort of furniture store. I just want to have a little look at something that's piqued my interest. And then I'm going to a psychic high tea with Lisa, my disability support worker. Is it heavy? That is yeah, gorgeous. that's heavy. It's full on heavy. Oh, wow. It's all rusty and everything. Oh wow, yeah, that's well made. Very well made. See, welded. Hmm. Oh my god. Do you remember Cabbage Patch Dolls? Do you remember them? In the 80s, they come with a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And you can buy clothes for the between. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Put them back in. It's a little, um, like a calendar thing. Oh, hello. This is Nina speaking. Would you like to go out for coffee? Yes? Okay. Pick me up at seven. I actually like this. Hey Rob. Hey you? Isn't this, this is, do you remember Mammy? Oh Mammy. Gosh, the, was, the was black. A, there was a song. Yeah, Mammy. Mammy, and they had the white gloves on. When yeah, they that's, what it, that's what that reminds me of. Mm. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. There's like old vintage type clothes, but this bag, $500. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to sell a kidney to afford that one. Oh wow, but look. Oh wow, look at that old radio. Oh my god, I remember that. I'm trying to squeeze. Wow. So gorgeous. which is like a southern suburb say 10 minutes south of Wollongong. Now Cringilla is a really really multicultural suburb. It's built off the back of the steelworks. Most people here are from an ethnic background and it's one of the most socio-economically disadvantaged suburbs I think in the state. 
So it's not exactly salubrious, but I came here because I wanted to look at this particular place that's for sale. It's a seven bedroom house. So the top level is four bedrooms and the bottom is three. And I thought, well, hey, I just want to see what you get for your money and that kind of that kind of potential that it would have for investment. So you've got the steelworks is over that way. And behind me, you've got, well, the Cringilla Primary School is just at the end of the street. And down here, you've got Cringilla Park. But look at how steep the hills are. Now, my Permobile F5 wheelchair would be able to absolutely get up and down there. But my Baytech, I mean, are you kidding me? So definitely, I'm not saying that, I'd, that I would move here, but I'm just looking at what you get for your money in different suburbs. That's all. I'm in a back alley in Port Kembla now. Just an update. I did look at the place in Cringilla. Obviously, it needs a lot of work, but I am going to call the agent and just just go through and do a walkthrough because I'm really interested to see what you get for your money and Cringula is an up-and-coming area so you know I just thought I'd do that later on this week I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog you as I go through but yeah I'm anyway I'm here now to do an Instagram shot for the day so yeah let's get to it Now, I came here last week or so, and an urban artist called Poncho Army did this, and I think that is just amazing. So that's mum's favourite birds, and I thought, well, hello Sally, wouldn't that not be a perfect place to get my shot done of the day? Directly behind me, I've just been doing Insta shots, and I didn't even know that this was a men's toilet. And I've done my Insta shots in the men's toilet, so I'll insert one here, but... I've got to get to Psychic High Tea, oh god, but seriously look how beautiful this art is over here, that's just been finished last week, oh my god that is amazing. I'm here with Lisa, we're at the Enigma Cafe in Port Kembla. Everybody, as you can see behind me, is waiting to go in for psychic high tea. And I'm trying to find out what Lisa thinks about the house that I just showed her. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm really, the price is absolutely perfect. And I was expecting you to show me this shanty. <laughs> and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I would live there. I will be your ten tenant. <laughs> when you're single. Bedrooms. So the fourth, so it's four bedrooms at the top, you're saying? No, the bottom, and three below. I think so. And you don't think, you don't think the stigma of Cringilla is warranted? I don't, I think it's what you make it yourself, isn't it? And that house is beautiful. And even if there is issues around you, they're not going to bother you. You're in your own little place. So you, they won't bother you unless you let them. That's not a bad, um, that's not a bad way to look at it. I think I will definitely call the agent and just do a walkthrough. Looking, that's all, just looking. So what did the psychic say? So she said that there's a big decision to be made and if I don't make it, the universe is going to make it for me. She thought I was not married because she thought that the partner I have is the one that I'm meant to be with forever and loves me unconditionally. But she saw a proposal, so she thought if it's not marriage, it's something else is going to happen, some, some proposal for me. And it'll be a good one. Um, she said there's going to be massive family issues and I will be defending someone and speaking up, which I don't usually do, but then I'll also be picking up the pieces of all this. She said you're studying and that's successful. Um, she can see a change. She said if it's not moving house, it's changing job. Money will be okay and I'm doing a massive personal growth and development for a better me and I'm going to flourish and money issues are going to be okay. And I think I've probably missed lots of things in between, but they're the things that I've quickly written down afterwards. So we'll see. So in 
Good morning, guys. It's Monday now. I didn't get to tell you yesterday what happened after I had my psychic reading. So I was expecting something. I've never had a psychic reading in my life ever before. I don't actually believe in psychics. I'm sure maybe there is some potential for supernatural involvement in the world, but whether or not I'm going to find that at a um, high tea in a coffee shop on Port Kembla on a Sunday afternoon, that remains to be seen. But there you go. I had a psychic reading and she laid out all the tarot cards and I'm expecting, you know, meet the tall dark stranger and all that kind of thing. But no, actually it came back very negative and very black. Each column, um, there were upside down cards, the devil, there was a money tree. Basically what she said was there's going to be conflict over money and someone is going to come into my life, a snake apparently, and seek to exploit me financially so I need to protect myself legally. That was basically it. There was nothing else in the reading apart from that. There was no light, there was no, there was no sunshine, there was no good news. That was it. It was just very dark. Don't really know what to make of that one but I'm off this morning to physio and I've got a bit of a, um, oh, my toast just popped. I'm just making my breakfast, please excuse me. I've got a few appointments and things on, so I'll probably take you along. But yeah, how's your Monday going? Everything good? I hope so. Excuse me, I'm just going to butter my toast. I'm down at my mum's house now. It's just quarter past eight in the morning. Oh my God, I'm, so, I'm worn out. I really am. I tell you what, I don't know how I do it sometimes, but... I'm down here at mum's house. Okay, it's my house. I shouldn't say mum's house. It's, it's now mine. And I'm waiting for a painter to come around and give me a quote. I'm going to get it painted inside. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm going to paint it and get it ready for sale or paint it and put a tenant in it. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to get a quote today to paint. So I want this, all of this paint, pink, pink cupboards painted. Obviously... The whole entire kitchen. I want everything whitened up. Um, I want this door removed. Take that off. Open up the space. I want the bathroom whitened up so that everything looks a lot more um, spacious because it's only a small one bedroom place. So making the most of what you've got is really important. But yeah, I, I've dealt with this particular painter before. So I'm hoping he's going to give me a good price. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just see. He's due here at about 8.30. I'm at the physio now, doing my weekly session. And I was kind of thinking, I'm thinking, I hope that when I vlog, it doesn't come across as if my life with primary progressive MS is not difficult. I think because I have so much support in my life that it might make it look like everything's easy, but it's actually not. I mean, I'm, at the moment I'm recovering from walking pneumonia and juggling work, juggling renovating mum's house, my house, sorry, um, and all the things that go into my life. I'm actually starting a Diploma of Leadership and Management tonight and, you know, without the NDIS, I don't think any of that would be really feasible or possible, much of that, anyway. So, yeah, I'm just here, I'm doing my leg stretches, got my normal physio, Alison. Um, I just love being here, I really do. I, I never used to be a big believer in the capacity that exercise has, like, to keep you strong as as physically good as possible you know even with ms but i'm certainly a conversion believer i love my exercise sessions now so i'd better get to it freaking amazing and i credit all that to allison What the am I doing? I'm seriously, I'm thinking I'm mad. I have just gotten home. Um, hang on. Oh, 
oh, I've just gotten home and I had a two hour nap after I got home from physio. And now I'm just about to walk in and start my first class in the Diploma of Leadership and Management. I'm having a moment of panic sitting in the car park thinking, am I really, you know, did I really think this through? Adding on another project to my already crazy busy schedule. But yes, I did. I did do the right thing. I am doing the right thing. And I'm going to do this course. I'm going to do it damn well. And God knows where it's going to lead me because you always have to, if the door opens, walk through and see what opportunities will come from it. So I've got my dinner packed. I don't finish here now till about 7.30 tonight. But I've got my, I've got, I brought some dinner with me and um, I'm going to go in because I've got this. May not be the wisest decision ever made, but damn straight, primary progressive MS or not. I can do this. It's Wednesday morning. I'm heading off to work. Hi Rob. Hey. I'm going to do word of the day because I don't think I've actually done word of the day for like two days and that would be a crime. So word of the day, I'm using an app, Sonorous. S-O-N-O-R-O-U-S. Of a person's voice or other sound which is imposingly deep and full. So as an example, I would say... When Nini wants to have, wants to exude an authoritative air in the workplace, her voice becomes sonorous, to little effect, usually. <laughs>